Credential harvesting is one of the most common way that cyber criminals use to steal credential to gain access to sensitive information. While there's no single solution out there that can stop credential harvesting completely, MFA is definitely one of the most effective ways to start the journey on combating against credential harvesting. Cisco's dual solution is one of the simplest MFA solution that works seamlessly with the common applications out there. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to integrate Cisco's dual with Microsoft 365, formerly known as Office 365, and Azure Active Directory P1 subscription. What you are seeing here is a high level view of the demo setup. I'll be showing you how to configure M365 and Azure AD P1 to work with Cisco Dual MFA. First, let's log in to the M365 admin console. I've already signed up for M365 account before this, so I'm going to just log in to that using the email address of that account. Next, click on the admin icon. You'll be brought to the Microsoft 365 admin page. If you click on the user tab in the active user section, by default, you only see the accounts that you have used to sign up for the M365 when you log in initially. Configuring the Azure AD, click on the show all to see the rest of the menu options available. Then click on Azure Active Directory under admin centers section. Do remember to sign in with the same account that you have used to register for the M365 service. In the Azure Active Directory Admin Center dashboard, click on the Azure Active Directory Manual tab again. By default, you will see Azure AD for Office 365, which comes free and is auto-link. Then click on the Users tab. You'll see the same admin account that you see in the M365 dashboard. Next, I'm going to show you how to create a group so that we can enforce the MFA policies for the users in this group. Click on Groups and then Add New Groups. I'm going to create a group for the users that will need dual MFA to log in. You can choose to enforce the MFA for Office 365 type or for all security type. For this demo, I'm going to select all security types. I'm going to name the group MFA group. Once you have entered the group name and group description, you can then click create button to create the group. You'll see that under the groups page that an MFA group has been created. Now click on the MFA group. We are ready to add members to the group that we want to enforce MFA. Click on the members manual, then click on Add members. On the right panel, you will see all the accounts that are available. A lot of these are system accounts or API accounts. Do consult your Microsoft expert if you are not sure which are the accounts you should be adding. Click on the Users tab, followed by Add New User. To avoid locking myself out of the global admin account, I'm going to create another test user to show you how your MFA will work for this new user. I'm going to create a new user called Demo Draco for this demo. You can choose to auto-generate password and let the system send the password to you or manually create a password like me. Once you're done, click on the Create button. Now go back to the M365 admin console. You'll see that the same user shows up in the M365 as well. I will assign the Office 365 license to this user as well for our demo later. Now we are ready to add that user to the MFA group. Let's go back to the Azure Active Directory Admin Center and go to the MFA group. You can see that there are currently no users assigned to the MFA group. To add the user that we have created, click on the Members tab under the MFA group and then click on Add Members. 
Now select the user, in my case, demo Draco, then click select button. You'll see on the top right hand corner, a pop-up that says members successfully added, which means that the user have been added successfully. Now go to duo.com and click on login. Click on don't have an account and you'll be directed to a page where you can create one. Since I already have an Duo account created in advance, so I'm going to just click continue and log in to that account. For all administrative accounts on Duo, you'll automatically be challenged with Duo MFA when you log in to your web console. Once the authentication is done, you'll be brought to the dashboard on your Duo account. We'll walk through the dashboard demo in a subsequent video. Now let me walk through what is the configuration needed in Duo. Click on the application in the left panel and then click on protect an application. Type in Azure in the search field, then click on the protect button to the left of Microsoft Azure Active Directory. Click on the authorize button, which takes you to the Azure portal. Duo will need read access to your Azure Active Directory tenant. For more detailed integration guide, you can go to duo.com slash doc slash azure dash ca. Now sign using the global admin account that we have used to log in to the Azure AD as well as the M365. Click on the Accept button. After accepting the dual Azure Authentication Applications permission request, you'll be redirected back to the Azure Active Directory application page in the dual admin panel. Copy the custom control JSON script in the detailed section of the page. You need to provide this information to Azure to complete the dual authentication setup later. I would strongly advise to save what you copy into a text file first in case you copy into the clipboard and accidentally lost the copy later. Then click save at the bottom of this page. You shall see application modified successfully in the green box at the top of the page. Then we'll need to go back to Microsoft Azure Active Directory Admin Center Web Console to configure the JSON script over there. Click on the security tab, then click on conditional access. You will notice that the add new policy is gray out. This is because the default free Azure AD service that comes with your Microsoft 365 does not have the additional features such as conditional access policy. You need at least an Azure AD premium P1 service to configure additional security policy. By default on the right panel, you can activate the free trial for Azure AD Premium P2. If you want to use P2 capability, go ahead and click on the Activate. I'm going to show you how you can create a Azure AD Premium P1 trial. Just click on the Purchase Services catalog. It will bring you to the catalog page where you can purchase additional Microsoft services. Check the Azure Directory Premium P1. You can compare the features available for the different services. Click on buy if you are ready to buy, or like me in this demo, click on get free trial. Then click on try now. Do remember to deactivate the trial if you do not want to continue. If not, you will be built when the trial ends. Some of you might be new to this like me and thought that this is all you need to do to activate the Azure AD Premium P1 service. The answer is no. Wish it was that easy. If you go back to the Azure Active Directory Admin Center, you'll see that the Azure AD is still the default Azure AD for Office 365. You will need to go back to Microsoft 365 Admin Center, then click on Home and click on subscription. 
click on Azure Active Directory Premium P1 Trial. Then click on Install to install the service. You'll be prompted to set up your time zone if these options are not set up previously. Once that is done, go back to the Azure Active Directory Admin Center and you'll see that your Azure AD have been upgraded to Azure AD Premium P1 subscription. Now let's go back to the Conditional Access tab. Click on Security and then Conditional Access. Click on new custom control. Delete all the default JSON script here. Then paste the JSON script that you have saved earlier. If you have lost the JSON script, not to worry. You can go back to the dual admin portal and retrieve the JSON script. It takes a short while for the policy to be created successfully. If you refresh the screen, you will see the required dual MFA custom control is being created. Now we are ready to create the conditional access policy. You can go back to security, then conditional access. You will see that new policy is no longer gray out. Click on new policies and give it a meaningful name. In this demo, I've named the policy dual MFA required. Now add the users or groups that you want to enforce dual MFA. In this demo, I'm going to use MFA group. I'm going to add on the Office 365 applications. Here you can add on the Office 365, SharePoint, and the rest of the office application. Word of advice, when configuring security policies, especially for authentication and authorization, always know what is the impact of applying the policies. Next, we're gonna select the controls to be enforced for this policy. Check the required dual MFA on the right panel and click select. In production environment, it's always good to start with report only modes to see the impact of the policy. For this demo, we're going to enable the policy. Once you click create, you should also see validation successful. You'll see dual MFA required as one of the policies under conditional access. We have completed the integration of Cisco's dual with Microsoft 365 and Azure Active Directory Premium P1 services. Now is the time to show you the dual user demo. First, go to office.com. Then key in demo Draco, the user we have created for this trial. Click on sign in, then enter the user password. Since this is the first time I'm logging in, Microsoft will require me to create a new password. This demo will also show you how to set up Duo on the first login. You'll be directed to a Duo page whereby you need to start your setup. Click on Start Setup. You'll be prompted to add the type of device that you're adding for the MFA. For this demo, I'm going to use my iPhone mobile phone. Enter the mobile phone number. 
and SMS OTP will be sent to your mobile phone to verify the ownership of the device. Once that is done, you have the option to select a default MFA authentication method every time you log in, or be prompted to choose an MFA type every time you log in. For this demo, I'm going to select Ask me to choose an authentication method when I log in. For better user experience, the user can choose push notification as a default MFA method every time they log in. Once that is done, we can continue to log in. For this demo, we're going to send me a push. On the right, as you can see, I'll get a notification to approve or deny the authentication and the login. If you ever receive the prompt and the login is not initiated by you, you can just click on deny and stop the unauthorized access and quickly report this to the administrator. By tapping on approve, I will then have successfully authenticated with additional MFA and will be logging to my 365 web page. Thank you for watching. And let's hear what my son has to say. This goes to MFA. It's easy peasy lemon squeezy!